Hi, I am Dr. D.M. Manoj. I am a specialized sports physiotherapist. I am also a director and a senior consultant in Physioactive Gurgaon. Sports medicine in India is a growing field and uh, the speed of growth is very fast as compared to other orthopedic, neurological and cardiac uh, physical therapy. The growth is so big because people in India have started realizing the importance of health. Now they think that physical well-being is a must and you see people involved in uh, activities like sports. So the growth of development is faster. The more is the change which is happening uh, in the uh, uh, field of sports, like suppose India, they are winning medals uh, uh, in uh, uh, Commonwealth Games levels. Uh, they have won few medals in um, um, level of Olympics also. So the more is the uh, 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 involvement uh, of uh, country people in this level of uh, sports, more is the need for sports medicine. Challenges, yeah. So as far as uh, what is the role of physiotherapy in sports injuries, they've got three important roles. One is treatment of injuries. Uh, someone, uh, athlete, uh, having an injury, definitely he can't be waiting for six months or three months like a normal individual to get rid of this thing because his career might be over in that one year actually. So treatment of that injury at a minimum possible time is one of the important thing. Secondly, yeah, treatment if it happens with accidents, that's okay. But prevention of treatment, uh, prevention of injuries is also a prime motive of physical therapist. So why prevention? Yeah, there's a lot of money wasted. There's a lot of time wasted. There's a lot of skill wasted in, in uh, treating an injury. So why not prevent injury? There is a separate branch called prehabilitation, which means it's prevention of injury, which uh, uh, which is which is a um, uh, gold standard, uh, or it's it's a important aspect in uh, sports. Uh, for that, there are specific programs. If an athlete undergoes this specific pro programs, and what is his training level, and what is his training time, this all will be analyzed by a sports physiotherapist, and he'll be giving the best of uh, solution for those uh, wherever he feels that issues are there. They'll be giving certain specific uh, uh, instructions for prevention of sports injuries. The third part is improving the performance. Any sports, it is, it is a repetition of particular activity. For example, if you take cricket, if it's a bowler, it is a repetition of that particular activity in an athlete. So when one thing is too much of use is happening in one area, definitely that, that area can have little imbalance that correcting of that imbalance is an important aspect of a physical therapist and by correcting that imbalance improves the performance of the individual so these are the three things like prehabilitation prevention of injuries and if he gets injured how to take care of that injury third improve the performance for him that one second of race or going one kilometer sp speed faster than his uh, counterpart is the one which is going to give him the medal. So improve, improvement of performance, there also the physical therapist plays an important role. So um, I also uh, have played a role in uh, Indian Cement Hockey Team and uh, uh, the challenges which we are facing when I was with the team, players were even afraid to tell about their injuries actually. That was the main challenge which we saw. Like, if they're injured uh, and uh, uh, they uh, they think that if I tell about my injury, uh, I might be seen uh, as an injured person and I might not get an opportunity. So in sports, especially in team sports, telling them, uh, tell, educating the players about prevention and if they get injured, how to treat it and to Definitely tell about the injury was an important challenge which we faced initially. Uh, apart from that, uh, now over a period of time, the players have understood that if I have an injury, it is important, it's okay, even can I have an injury, but it's important that I tell the injury to the physical therapist. That's why a team physical therapist is an important part now. So telling about the injury itself as a one important step. 
and secondly earlier we had uh, 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 means all our sports people used to go abroad uh, for uh, treatment of particular injuries uh, one main reason was non availability of technology here the manpower is good manpower is still good in india as for the physical therapy of sports is concerned but physical therapy didn't have the right technology uh, to to amalgam upon and get the the uh, get the individual fit in that particular time like i said earlier a injured person a normal injured person can have take his own time to heal but as far as the sports is concerned that one day period is very critical for him so now talking about the technology yeah what is that we have brought in at physioactive to treat that athlete in a particular time like i said earlier we have good manpower which we already had but the technology like altergy treadmill for example if an athlete who is having an injury in acl uh, one of the important ligament in the knee he is not supposed to run for 3 months so how do we expect him to uh, go into the field in 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 4 months 5 months so this technology called altergy altergy like the name suggest it takes the pressure off the knee and this athlete can start walking or running even in the first month actually or as soon as the graft heals now the overall rehab is faster uh, imagine this guy going into the field after one year imagine the same guy going to field in four months with the use of technology like altergy that's excellent actually and for him that six months is a very very important period and the chance of him going back into the sports that also increases earlier after an acl after uh, injury of an uh, indian athlete the chance that he goes to the sports was hardly 5 10% now with the technology is 55% that he can go back into the sports uh, we have uh, 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 other technologies like uh, class 4 laser uh, which is a very good non invasive method of treating deep injuries earlier they would do a small surgery to treat reaper injuries but again whenever the surgery surgery is a surgery you are invasive so non invasive laser is a good technology someone having a meniscal injury you could give a laser and heal them faster and heal them without invading their tissues that's one more technology we have we have technology called shock wave therapy athlete is a one who is training 6 to 8 hours a day he is stressing his joints ligaments muscles everything someone is training for 6 hours in a day imagine the amount of stress is uh, joints and the bones take so as a reaction to that stress they can develop something called calcifications or bone protrusions yeah normally they would inject on that area or normally they would uh, they would just chip off that uh, bone and again that needed an invasive surgery uh, with the technology Uh, like uh, shock wave therapy again this is a non invasive method of uh, healing uh, calcified bones or those stress bones uh, you treat them with shock wave it is as good as uh, treating it uh, with a surgery uh, yeah with the additional effects of less cost uh, you save time and go back to sports much faster here after we started physio active uh, we had uh, even um, Uh, uh national level athletes who have come here for help uh, for example naman hoja was an indian cricketer he was uh, playing uh, his game in delhi uh, for the world cup selection so he had a back uh, pain and uh, it was on friday i remember exactly monday he had a match and uh, someone has suggested physactive because we have that technology so he came in here we treated him on um, like with with a extended duration of time and uh, he was fit in 3 days and he was able to go back and uh, give his performance on monday